I'm Darren with Newsmaker Studio. Recently we did some unboxings of many products that we use in our studio. Right here I have the HP Z440 workstation and the EVGA GeForce GTX 980 Ti. The reason I have these on this table here is because when it came to installing the graphics card into the PC from the box, we ran into an issue. So we went to YouTube to figure out the issue that we had and how to fix it. We ended up finding a video that pointed us in the right direction, but we couldn't quite understand what the gentleman was saying in the video. So we decided to, to show how we figured it out ourselves. And we have the solution right here, and I'll show you how to install it into this workstation. Okay, let's get started with this installation. The first step is for this installation is removing the door or the opening. You just pull up on the latch and it's just come up like it's on a hinge, but you just pull it off and it comes off really nice and easy. Now the first step before you even want to touch anything in the PC is touch your power supply to make sure that you and the computer are grounded, you and the computer are one. So. If your computer was previously on, make sure to hold your power button on the front of the case for at least five to 10 seconds, or if the motherboard has a light on it, make sure it is off. Now when it comes to installing the, the graphics card, you're going to need a uh, SATA power to PCI Express eight pin female connector because this computer did not have the correct amount of pins or different power supplies from the power supply to the graphics card. So this is basically all you're going to need to hook up your graphics card. You get this part from Amazon.com. The cord just looks like this. Now, first step for a graphics card installation is you want to make sure to open the case. The little, not the case, but the, the door. I don't know the correct word for it, but you just need to open that up. It's going to have the second one open for this, but you just remove one of the protectors. So, Here's the um, PCI slot that you're going to need to install it in. Your graphics card will have little rubber protectors on the bottom, and there's going to be one for, your, for if you want to do PCI, or SLI, I mean. We don't necessarily need to remove this. So you just slip this down into there. Should snugly fit and you should feel kind of a little bit of a snap feeling. Not a snap, but you'll feel it when it's fully in. And when you have it installed, just push up on that tab on those two tabs on the outside of the case and it should just close right up nice. Not done yet. What you'll need is you'll need one of these six pins from the front of the case. It would necessarily be for your hard drives, but we're just gonna borrow one of these. All right, that fits nice and snug. Now when it comes to the power cables on the inside, you don't want to grab the ones at the top. Leave those ones alone. You want to grab the ones down towards the bottom. Now you insert the cables. Make sure they're the right orientation. So that one goes in there. And you grab this other one. Make sure it's the right orientation again. Snap it in place. Make sure this is in the right orientation. The tab should be facing the bottom of the case. All right, that part, your graphics card 
is now installed in the workstation. We're not done yet. Here's the easiest part. Putting your door on. Now the PC is ready to use with your GTX 980 Ti. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe below, leave a comment, tell us how we did. Well, I'm Darian, thanks for watching.